Hey, what's up, y'all? It's popping in today. Boss Rex is Bib by Mori. This is Bad Baby admits the men who made her rich are predators. They're they're pedos. They're weirdos. That that's what she's saying. Uh, they wasn't all that when they was getting you rich, girl. And you was making all this money off of them. Is she's not on OnlyFans no more? Is that why she's coming out and saying this? I'm not sure, but it's like okay. What are we supposed to do with this information? And I'm not excusing, you know, the weirdos out there, but you put yourself out there for people to uh, view you of all ages. Wasn't she 18 when she started her OnlyFans? I'm confused. So how are they? I mean, sure, I guess you can argue that, oh, they were watching me the whole time and they just couldn't wait till I was 18. Okay, but... You were 18 at the time that you started your OnlyFans. I'm just confused. What are we supposed to do with this? I don't know, but sure. Let's hear her elaborate on it, I guess. Let's watch. All right, so the current year is 2023, and Bad Baby, a.k.a. Daniel Bergoli, a.k.a. the redheaded little girl who blew up off of Dr. Phil, has found her way back into relevance in the current year for saying one of the dumbest things that you could possibly say as an OnlyFans model, and that is based on what she said. The people who bought her OnlyFans should all be in jail. Well, specifically, the ones who quote-unquote bought it the night that she turned 18 and signed up for OnlyFans because she wanted to make some bread. I know, the lack of self-accountability is at an all-time low in this current year, and I am not surprised. I, I want people to stop using accountability, all right? Let, let's use another word. I'm so tired of hearing it. Especially pertaining to, to women. Like, it's just so tired. I feel like y'all watch the same fucking podcast. And read the same comments on the shade room or wherever the fuck. Y'all just be regurgitating the same shit. It's just so apparent that people don't have many original thoughts these days. It's so annoying. Like, <laughs> you'll hear certain words, you know, being like put out there. And then you'll hear everybody using those exact same buzzwords. Oh, you're gaslighting me. And oh, this, like, you don't take accountability for anything. And it's just, it's so many. I can't think of them all off the top of my head. But it's just like... Can, can y'all have original thoughts? And I'm not coming for him at all. <laughs> I like this person. I'm not talking about him. It just made me think. Because I don't know how often he uses this word. He might not even use it often. So this is not directed towards him. But I'm just saying, in general, as I'm watching so many videos, I just keep hearing accountability, accountability. I don't take accountability, accountability. And it's like, I never heard people use <laughs> that word before this, this frequently. I mean, it's a common word, but it, people use it a lot, a lot on social media. Whatever. Hilarious coming from someone like Daniel Bergoli, who has an attitude issue, who's been thinking she's been grown since she was the age of 13, who decided of her own free will when she turned into an adult at 18 to sign up for fans the same night, and who also, according to her, made $50 million in total from all the customers who bought her content. But now, all of a sudden, a year later, she's complaining about it. In the night you turned 18, you registered to vote? No, huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't know what I oh, you thought I was gonna say join the military? No, <laughs> I didn't say what I joined OnlyFans. You joined OnlyFans the night you turned eighteen? I think so, yeah. And people subscribe right away? Yeah. Should they be in jail? Yeah. Hmm. So you heard it from well, Bad he Baby herself. Right. Everybody who decided to buy her content on the night or the day that she created the OnlyFans account should be in jail, according to her. And here's the thing. I'm not entirely sure if she actually believes that or not, but as soon as the interviewer asked her that question, she immediately she said yes. So I think it's safe to assume that she probably does believe this to some degree. And if that's the case, Bad Baby, if you're listening to this video right now, honey girl, baby boo, if you're actually it's serious, girl, why not just take all the money that you made and refund it or maybe donate it to some kind of charity or organization for sure girls in the industry? Hmm? Why not just make a formal apology and be like, like, I regret oh, the decision okay. that I made on that night to create an OnlyFans okay. as soon as I turned 18. And I will now be returning all the profits that I made from this venture. And will now be going back to a life of humbleness, Ready. generosity, and moving forward on, on a brighter path. But of course, that's, that's never going to happen. She wants to try and have her cake and eat it too. But unfortunately, baby girl life just does not work like that a couple comments that i find funny is this one from mika on instagram she says the fact she just turned 18 and made 50 mil off of only fans is disturbing i guess get it how you live i don't know confused looking face emoji and i'm not gonna lie i agree i do find that disturbing and it's not this work from an adult female that i find disturbing like institution transactional 
products, you know, selling your body in any marketplace has existed since the beginning of time. That is just one of the hallmarks and is deeply embedded within our civilization. But what I do find disturbing is the fact that there are so many simps out here. And yes, I'm using that word in 2023 because it's still applicable. So many desperate men out here who are willing yeah, to pay for working. Daniel Bergoli's content while there is free all on the internet for you to consume you got you somebody you got, explain to me um, you got reason. reddit you got twitter even twitter has free bro you got I'll instagram just scroll down your feed literally instagram is full of soft core but for some reason hundreds of thousands of men felt the need to pay for content that didn't even have anything that different from what daniel bergoli already posts to her instagram based on what i've heard another comment said you joined only fans for a reason though you knew what you were doing and who were going to subscribe. If that's an issue, give the money back. Simple. But like I said before, she ain't gonna do any of that. You can't profit from your body on OnlyFans, become a millionaire, and then have regrets later because you were 18 and you still feel like a child. Like, it doesn't work like that. You are going to talk about to this do what even you did to make money, drag but now you think all okay, the she's customers talking again. who bust your cons... Let's see. Give them graphics. Wait, who bought your content, who made you into a multi-millionaire, are now predators for supporting your work. How would you describe your demographic? <laughs> okay, well, like, I feel like it's like... I would... Actually, sorry to interrupt you, let's do this. Could we do have to do a new segment? Okay. This segment's called Sketch Artist. So what I want you to do is I want you to describe to me what your average fan looks like. How the fuck she doesn't know? And I'm sketching. Uh, so take it slow, I'm not fast forward. I feel like... Before she even gets to describing who her average customer looks like, I just want to take this moment to have a moment of silence for anybody who bought her content and is watching this video right now because she is definitely... 100 percent about, about to violate you and you probably deserve it for letting her make 50 mil off you like 20 to 40 years old mm -hmm. probably like a white man mm -hmm. that's like married mm -hmm. with like six kids definitely has like a daughter that's my age what color hair it's great. brown Weight? Two. 175. What? Is this... Am I on the right track? Does this look like anyone you've ever seen before? I don't think I'm comfortable here. No. So you heard it from her. Her average customer is white from the ages of 20 to 40, probably has a wife and kids and a daughter around her age. Now, is anybody actually surprised by that? I'm not. We all already know that the average American dad is down bad. A lot of them are old, tired, they're in sexless marriages and are suffering from a sudden onset of massive blue balls because their wives no longer put out anymore. And she's probably either having fun with her yoga instructor, her gym trainer, or her work husband. And for that lonely, desperate, depressed man who Ooh, that can't seem to bust it out anywhere else yeah, his only job source of enjoyment home. is buying Nobody. bad babies content which is very sad i'm not gonna lie i got two things to go you can change the subject when the balls you want to hold that it's pretty good i gotta give you credit okay. oh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> nah oh, why did the interviewer do this man so dirty you were literally supposed to be drawing an image of the average bad baby client or customer <laughs> and you really sat here and cheated <coughs> your co-worker this is funny. that is honestly a pretty accurate description as to who her average customers look like not gonna lie it's pretty messed up but men then who I look like that are the probably the ones who turned a bad baby into a millionaire like i know for the longest time people were blaming young men in their <laughs> 20s and teenage <laughs> boys and shit like that but let's be honest who are the ones with the most money, money. in the economy That's the most true. money to splurge and to spend on internet Let's be honest, it's the older oh, middle aged part of retirees who can't get any action from their wives. So they're scrolling through Instagram, they already follow Bad Baby, and then all of a sudden they hear the news that she's creating an OnlyFans. And they were already fans before of her particular set of talents. So why wouldn't they now that she's an 18 year old girl pay her for those specific set of talents in a uh, monetary way? They got time to spend, money to burn, and a debilitating form of crippling depression that won't go away so of 
course, and funny, the like lavish lifestyle of a red-headed white girl with a bad attitude, a smart mouth, and who probably doesn't care about you and that you will never ever touch in your life doesn't seem like too bad of a choice after all. What? So what do you do with all this money you're making? You're making tons of money. You make $50 million? Really? I do. How much of that money do you spend and how much do you reinvest into the business? What do you mean reinvest into the business? <laughs> Or just invest, girl. See, that is just sad. And this is how you know Danielle will probably end up being broke before she even turns 30. $50 million. I do. And you give a lot of it back. Is that true? You help out people. No. I saw you bought a really, okay. really nice home for someone in Florida. I did? Holy fuck. Oh, my God. Ain't no way. Like, the way she looks confused, bewildered, and just, like... Astonished he at the fact that true. he's heard about her actually being nice and generous to people she's after like, all the money she made. Shit. She's really trying to recount and recollect when the f she actually gave money to anybody. I saw an article about it. They said you bought a, a very nice home for someone in Boca Raton. No, yeah, for me. Oh, it was for you. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. bought a house for You know what they say? What did they say? Peninsula. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna just give it up to her. At least she's being honest. At least she's not pretending as if she's a nice, generous person. She don't look like that online, you know, though. Donating to charity or at buying all. friends and family members' homes or anything like that. She's just keeping it a sack. She's keeping it a bean, and she's like, nah, that, that house was for me. And I'm assuming this whole communication error is from the fact that her PR team, who was tasked with making her look better, was the one who paid some kind of news publisher to create that article on her behalf. But clearly, if she's not privy to this information, it completely defeats the purpose. Like, or he made that up. stick to the story, the narrative that you are a giving person. I think the interviewer made that do interviews like this, looking all confused and befuddled as to when you bought a house for somebody else, then there was literally no point in your PR team even creating that article to make you look good. But honestly, I don't believe she even gives a like she's made her bag. She's pretty much set for life if she invests her money in the right way. Like she won't have to work another day in her life ever. And now that she's comfortable and has a safety net, she can come out and just be real. And she's always kind of been real. Like I guess I can respect her for that since she was a young girl. Like she just said whatever the hell she wanted to say, and she's still like that to this day. So at least that's one thing I can give her props for. But in any case, do let me know your thoughts in the. Um, I, I don't want to, you know, give her too much shit for this because she was just in an interview with someone who, like, asks a lot of silly questions. Like, that's the whole nature of the interview for it to be, you know, entertaining and funny. And she was just kind of laughing and going along with it. So it's not like she was up there trying to read the people who are subscribing to her and going off on them and saying, oh, my God, they're disgusting. And they did. She wasn't doing all that. So leave her alone. She, I don't fuck with her at all. I don't care about this little girl, but leave her alone. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, so someone explained to me why people pay for OnlyFans. So, because I used to say that too. Like, why the fuck would you pay for OnlyFans you could just get on porn here? Like, this is dumb. But they just like, no, it's not the same. Because those girls are easily accessible. We, of course, just go online and see them. But girls that we have been, um, I guess, drooling over for X amount of time when they finally, you know, show any amount of their body, it's like, oh my God, finally, let me see. Cause you've already kind of grown this attachment to this said person. I don't see how people do that on the internet, but sure, they've grown some type of, you know, attachment so that now when they see that, you know, they're gonna show their body to any degree, they're just like, yes, I wanna see. Cause they've already been kind of fantasizing about this person, you feel me? So it's like, yes, I'll pay to see anything. If you, even if you just show me some cleavage or just the silhouette of your body, I'll pay. But these other hoes on Pornhub are just like, oh, okay, it's boring because they're they always there. It's too easily accessible. So I was like, ah, that makes sense. Still strange. I don't, I don't relate, but it makes sense. Um, I was going to make a second point too, but this video is already getting too long and I kind of forgot what the second point was going to be. But uh, yeah, anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.